Welcome to Ontology's home screen. Here we can see the models or graphs that have already been imported. You can see the number of statements that each model contains, and you can also see the model's URI, friendly title, and thumbnail image. We'll see how you can explore these models later. First, let's import a new model. Ontology can import from a variety of different RDF formats, as well as from CSV data. For now, we'll import some RDF. Here we're importing the BBC Sports Ontology. We enter the URI of the ontology and paste in the RDF. You can see here that it successfully imported the model and created 452 statements. Now let's explore the model. You can see that this model contains 101 unique subjects and 11 class types. Looking through the list of class types, we can see that the ontology contains a typo. Someone's used an upper class T in data type. Let's ignore it for now and explore the 18 L classes that the model defines. You can see that it defines the sort of things you'd expect from a sports ontology competitions, sports people, and teams. Let's have a look at the sports person class. Here we can see that the sports person class has a type, label, and subclass properties. You can see that sports people is a subclass of both person, which is itself a subclass of several, several other classes. Since most predicates do not have inverse properties defined, ontology allows you to explore relationships in both directions. These yellow nodes show predicates which sport person is the object of a statement, while the red nodes represent statements which sport person is the subject. Although the nodes are presented to the user in tree form, the whole graph can always be explored. Here, for example, we can see a loop in the graph that could be expanded forever. Let's just change the model's icon to match the other ontologies and give it a user-friendly name and we're done.